Uh, that's a tough question. Um, you know, investor taking on investors comes with some risk. When an investor invests in your business, often they're given rights, whether it's by contract or statute, they might have rights. They might have information rights, they might have control rights, inspection rights, et cetera. So uh, you have to think through it. You, you need to understand what the uh, investor's motivations are. Uh, sometimes investors have misaligned expectations with the founders. They think that they're being hired to be a consultant, um, whereas maybe sometimes the founders or the, the, the entrepreneurs are just looking at them as money. So you have to understand if there's a, a mutual fit in the expectations there. It's not uncommon for um, a company to take on an investor who has misaligned expectations and then they become a nuisance. They're asking too many questions. They're poking their heads in things that you never wanted them to be in at all. So, uh, you know, and, and the problem is founders often are so excited by the prospect of getting some money from an investor that they don't think about these things. But you really, to, to avoid the headaches and the distractions when you're trying to run your business and you got an investor who's poking around or asking all sorts of irrelevant questions, uh, you need to think through these things and you need to uh, just make sure that expectations are aligned between your investors and the company.